what is the future scope of software testing in 2024 has the recession or whatever was the impact of recession in IT industry how big was the impact how are things lining up now 2024 early 2024 how the overall market looks like hey guys welcome back so today I'm going to discuss about what is the future scope of software testing in 2024 and has the recession or whatever was the impact of recession in IT industry how big was the impact and how are things lining up now and in 2024 early 2024 how the overall market looks like okay and this is my personal experience everybody out there in the industry might have some different experiences okay so this is more of my experience it's not a foolproof current market scenario analysis right so as per my experience i'll explain what i have gone through what i have felt and what things are happening in my current organization and project and how the future scope looks like as per my current organization current project in 2024 so i assume that things might be something somewhat similar because when there is a recession it's kind of similar impact across the industry and when there is a change or changes in a project or a parent organization it's kind of similar across other organizations as well because it's a reflection of the current market conditions right that propagate to uh, across all the organization whenever things go wrong or basically there is a recession and when the things start improving it's kind of similar for other organizations so that's kind of an assumption that i'm making but this is a kind of a personal experience that i'm going to share and how things will look like in 2024 or might look like in 2024 so the first thing is there was definitely a downsizing that i have gone through and seen in my previous project i myself have been impacted uh, the, the client that i was working with had done a massive downsizing and mass projects were shut down okay and there was a massive amount of people that came out of that project right now when people came out of that project that doesn't mean that if you're in a consulting organization you won't be getting a new project right so as soon as i was out from that particular project in a couple of weeks i was into another project and that was this year basically 2023 the recession time when, when things were kind of at the peak right so even at that time things were not that bad that project has went off was called off or they just temporarily are downsizing and you are not getting a new project right so that's the first and foremost thing what what i have gone through now recently things have started shaping up and changing in a much better way for the software testers it's a good and positive sign because this is happening currently in uh, my project and my organization that there is a good number of hiring going on and there is a good number of requirements in the project especially start starting early 2024 organizations clients are looking for ramping up because there have been project halls or they have not done much investment in the pro into the project and things are just sitting there so now in 2024 when the things are starting to improve there is hiring and there are requirements that i keep getting for the current project current clients so that is a good sign that there is a demand that is being generated for the resource for the testing resources in 2024 and this is specifically for testing because i totally deal with testing estate uh, area so this is the testing demands that i'm talking about so in my current project there is a lot of open opportunities for the software testing and this is basically you know the SDET, the qe quality engineers wherein you should be having a good skill set of automation as well and these jobs are australia based so if you have the valid uh, work visa then you might get the opportunity if you're really good then you might also get interviewed so if you have that level of skill set uh, feel free to text or comment or, or drop an email uh, at admin at software testing mentor.com and we might take things further so this is basically you know uh, just just to convey that if you are good at automation if you're good at ui api and all of that you might get a lot of better opportunities uh, in 2024 visa is another constraint so i i deal with the australia 
uh, market I work there. So I'm talking about the Australian uh, economy or reviving the IT industry. I assume it's similar in India because my parent organization is India based, right? So this hiring is for the parent organization. So it doesn't matter whether you are having a visa or you don't, but if you, if you want to switch locally in India, you can still reach out stating what your skill set is, right? So this is a good sign that I'm seeing in 2024. We are looking for as debts good with, with good skills, um, communication skills, etc. So this shows that yes, things are improving and in 2024 recession is slowly getting over right so as soon as we hit 2024 jan feb you will see a lot of hiring options being open in other organizations organizations as well i can't talk about other organizations because i haven't done through google and don't know the internals of other organizations but then currently whatever is happening in my current project the clients that i deal with there seem to be a lot of positive traction and in 2024 a lot of them are looking for new people to onboard to join and take the projects to the closure of completion right so things were down in 2023 some of the projects were abruptly halted stopped to save the funding now they might restart and then there are a lot of demand coming in into the it industry locally internationally everywhere that's my gut feel that that's what i am going through and what demands i am getting okay and eventually i think it will happen and it's a good sign that 2024 is a good year for the software testing and SDET overall okay so that's all for this video just a video to spread some good news see you in the next video thank you